Welcome to the Raw and Real of Real Estate podcast, powered by LPT Realty, real estate reimagined, with your host, the one and only Betsy Tinnerbin. On this podcast, we bring you people who share their personal journeys in life, business, and of course, real estate. Get motivated, inspired, and priceless information from entrepreneurs, community leaders, and realtors who are thriving. Now let's get raw and real. Here's Betsy. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tinervin, with the Tampa Bay Investments team, and we are happy to be with you this weekend. We have an amazing show prepared for you guys today, and we're going to discuss some raw and real of real estate. As you know, we try to bring members in from the Tampa Bay community. We try to have the best agents representing buyers, sellers, and investors with LPT Realty. We want to thank LPT and Mr. Robert Palmer for making this show possible. And now we're going to get to the good stuff. I have two amazing women in the studio today. I've personally gotten to know both of them. And that is a really cool part of me doing this show for LPT is I get to know the agents in LPT and who they really are as people. And so one of the guests that I have on the show is actually on my team now, Miss Jen. How are you? Hi, thanks for having me. You have like a cool last name. (laughs) And so I do this to everyone. Can you give your full name for all the listeners out there? It's Jen Esparza. So it's crazy. Jen doesn't even know this, but I go through all the stats of people on my team and This game in real estate is about building relationships with people. It's not about sales. And I'm looking, Jen, yesterday through all of our stats, and it's like, Jen Esparza converted lead, Jen Esparza converted lead, Jen Esparza. And Jen gets the same leads that everyone else gets. So I just want to commend you because I know that you're a new member, you know, with us and you've had some changes that we'll talk about later in the show, but I think that you're fabulous. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) And someone else that brought Jen to me, so this world of real estate is so crazy and on the back end you know people don't really dive deep into brokerages and teams so this amazing lady sponsored miss jen and then connected jen with myself to be on my team because she's a single agent so what's so cool about this business is you really get those people that want people to succeed and so without further ado i have miss amy williams hi there how are you i'm great how are you Good. Amy, having the class with you and just like really getting to know you as an agent and just how professional you are and all the stuff you've done in your career, I just want to commend you as well. Thanks. I appreciate that. So while we have these guys here, we talk raw and real and both of them have made some real estate changes. And so how much they choose to disclose of where they came from or why they're with LPT. I definitely just kind of want to start with you, Amy, because you have been in different situations. And I think for agents out there listening that may want to contact you as far as potentially making a switch to a new brokerage or just how you've been successful in your career, you've had a couple changes. I have had a couple changes. Started real estate in 2017 and found myself to be a top producer right away, which of course was, you are, which was interesting because I did not know I was a salesperson. Other people had said it kind of along the way and I just didn't know it, but was very successful. Throughout that process on a team that I was on, I realized that I was not working up to my full potential and didn't have a great split, but was still doing all the hard work. So I decided to look for a new brokerage. It took me about six months to finally settle on one. And with everything that LPT had to offer, it was obviously a no-brainer to make that change, take that move. Being that real estate is so technologically based at this point and they cover every base in that regard, obviously, it just, it feels like it's a perfect fit for what I was looking for. And just back up a second to when you say not working up to your full potential, what do you feel was the reason for the change and why do you feel like in that environment you weren't working up to your full potential? I think when you're on a team, there are so many other things that you have to, you know, there's a ton of accountability, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but as you rise to the top and changes aren't made accordingly, you know, it's very disheartening, you know, not being acknowledged for the successes, not being rewarded for the successes. So I just decided to take matters into my own hands and, and, you know, really create my own business instead of being, you know, working that hard for somebody else. 
Well, they always say, you know, someone's trash is someone else's treasure. <laughs> so I'm glad that you went through kind of some painful things of not being acknowledged. And now we are like blessed with your presence because I do think as a team leader myself, it is a hard job. It's a hard job to have empathy and compassion, but also like accountability. And as we all know, we have this awesome mastermind coming up. Yeah. Which you're attending, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And I believe a little birdie said that we are going on a private plane on Wednesday. No. Oh my gosh. Wow. And <laughs> and 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 so I definitely want you to talk to Tracy because I believe that they are picking us up at the Tampa International Airport on Wednesday <laughs> and flying us to Orlando <laughs> because Mr. Palmer and and I think that's where people have that mistaken too you know Robert's such a humble guy right and it's not about the flashy this and that but to get a call from your broker like hey we want to make the people's lives easier in Tampa and we want to like fly you to this event right I mean who does that right I'll come back to you more on like team split and culture and and all that good stuff because I think it's important and anyone out there listening you know both of these agents have had the experience at different brokerages so if you're an agent looking to make a move these are two amazing people to connect with so let's go to you miss Jen all right. Hey, How it's going to get, it's going to get real today, kids. It's going to get real. So as far as you are concerned, you are also on a team and you kind of chose to make the switch. And I know that you and Amy kind of communicated and you let her kind of be the beta test, right? Like I'm going to let you go first. And so if it's like not good, then I'm just going to sit down. So what was your reason? How do you feel now? Just kind of like talk about your career a little. Bit. Well, I was kind of sitting back watching a couple people start in LPT and kind of, you know, just gauging how, how it was working for them before I made the move. Coming from where I did before, we dealt with a lot of the guaranteed offer I buyers, and that is, you know, changing. This business is a lot about change and you have to be able to kind of roll with it with the ups and downs. And, you know, that's kind of the name of the game and that's where I'm at right now. And I'm glad I joined a team that I feel like is a life brokerage. Like it's somewhere where I feel like it's family. And I'm ready to hit the ground running with you guys. And I also know that you didn't mention you were a top producer as well. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, this business is about, you know, relationships. So I, I don't think of it, I don't really like tout myself that way. But yes, you were a it, top producer, I've been Jen. In it for Amy, quite some time. She Amy, was. she's she supposed was. to be and raw I, and real yeah, now, yeah, Amy. She's very humble. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're very <laughs> humble. But, but I know Got that just. Being a team leader, mm -hmm. like I see a lot of different things in agents. And like I always talk about, you can't teach people relationship building skills. That's mm -hmm. the hardest skill. You can teach anyone to write a real estate contract. I mean, ladies, it's fill in the blank. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is the legal description? Copy, paste. But when you have to sell and be around, the, mm -hmm. around people and deal with all different mm -hmm. walks of life, it is difficult. Yeah, totally. You're a chameleon. You you know, where I love that I'm stealing that yeah, <laughs> you are, you know, I mean, you read your client and how they react and you react that accordingly. If you have someone that's more shy and timid, you're not going to be overbearing. It's just you adapt to the situation. 100%. Mm -hmm. That's a good salesperson. That is a good salesperson. <laughs> I tell people it's the out of body experience, right. right? You have to take yourself, your own thoughts and opinions and step into your client who's in all different types of situations. Like I got a call the other day from somebody who said they have to buy in a rural area because they have kind of a background and by law they have to do that. And I have to step back in my mind and go, you know, it's not my place to judge someone, one, due to fair housing laws, and two, because I'm a person too. And so all they want to do is get in a home and be in a good financial situation. It was so cool for me to see too, because I sent the lead to Ty Virgil and I told him the background story and he didn't bat an eye. And it's like, that is the environment that we want to create here. And I definitely want everyone out there to know we're going to dive deep with Jen and Amy into just why they made the switches, how this is, has helped them excel in their career. And this just isn't about real estate. So all my listeners out there, you know, you notice on my show, we have community leaders in here. We have people in the community. And at the end of the day, we want to talk about entrepreneurship. You are a entrepreneur as an agent. You are a 1099 employee. You don't technically work for a broker or a team lead. You are self-employed. 
So I want to dive deep into that with Jen and Amy. And again, Jen, give everyone your contact information, please, if someone wants to call you. Yeah. So it's 813-610-2871. And I have my cell on me all the time. I am Carl text me. <laughs> and Miss Amy, if someone wants to contact you. My cell is 813-625-1800. And I always say in real estate, we work 24-7. Pretty much we do. <laughs> And so anyone looking to speak to Amy or Jen about their career change, even if you're an out entrepreneur outside of real estate, obviously buying, selling, investing, these are two amazing women. Please reach out to them and just discuss them. It might be a great just inspirational phone call if you're looking to make a change in your career or just maybe in your business if you work for corporate. We are going to pay some, pay some bills, folks. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wait just a un momento until we get to segments two, three, and four. You will not want to miss it we'll catch you after the break the best comp plans ever and and stock and revenue share but if, if we're not closing real estate transactions all of that is worthless because ultimately everything starts with a real estate transaction which starts with a consumer and so we wanted to arm our agents with the absolute best technology and best marketing tools to do more real estate and that's again i think a big differentiator i think very few brokerages really sit down and say, how do we provide tools to make sure that our agents can be more productive, sell more real estate, win more listings, win at more listing appointments, help more buyers find that home, and we're very focused on that. So while we have the best comp plans and the best ways for agents to generate wealth and earn, we also have the best tools, and more importantly, I would say have the best tools to help you be successful in real estate. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tinervin, with the Tampa Bay Investments team and LPT Realty. If you missed the content earlier, you now have the privilege of hearing Amy Williams, an LPT agent, and Jen Esparza. Look at how I nailed that. <laughs> Winner. It's not Esperanza. It's, it's Esparza. Esparza. <laughs> There's no in. <laughs> they are both fabulous LPT agents, and we'll just give you a slight recap. They actually had made career changes. They were both top producers, a big known team in Tampa. You can feel free to Google them and look at their career change and where they came from. I want everyone out there to know they've given their information and they will give it again. If you're looking to make a career change, whether you want to get into real estate, don't want to get into real estate, these are two women to connect with as they made some shifts in their career and really took off personally and professionally. So I'm going to come back to you, Amy. I think that everybody hears when they interview for a brokerage, we have mentorship, we have a family, we have culture. Give them the raw and the real of why that's not true. So every brokerage that I interviewed starting in January, believe it or not, before I made my decision in June, had something to offer. Everybody made promises. So basically what I did is went through their numbers. Ooh. When I found that their numbers were not equivalent to the, you know, the stuff they were telling me, I just took them off the table because, you know, real estate, we can all say that we're great and everything else, but you know, the amount of, of leads and stuff that I was getting or whatever, it just, I made the decision based on that because if I was producing like way more than them as the broker, as the brokerage, it just wasn't going to be a good move for me. Right. And I think that the biggest thing that you just gave people is you did your homework. Definitely. So you didn't go in the interview and make an emotionally based decision Definitely not. because even when you fit with someone, you have to have the tools for success. Right. So whether you work a corporate job or you're a business owner or you're a realtor or you're a community leader, you can be great and positive and manifest things. But if you just don't have the tools, you're not going to be successful. Right. And so that's amazing advice out there for people, whether you're making a career change or doing this or that. I think what Amy is saying is, is super powerful. And then Jen, I'll turn to you. Obviously, Amy kind of led into this of making her switch and then I hit on tools. Why did you feel that LPT's tools out of the other brokerages you've been with or other careers you've been involved with, why did you think those would make you successful? It's all combined. It's not just, you know, your CRM. It's the accountability. I chose to go on a team because I like that kind of environment. So for me, it's a little bit different. And on your team, I mean, especially it's more about the social media aspect in which I am lacking in that. And I would like more guidance and help. And so for me, I 
you know, that's a big part of our business now. And, yeah, well, let's you know. let's give them the raw and real about that, Jen. So you're I mean, you're I mean, you're a newbie on my personal team. What is that like for you? Honestly, I like your style of how you do things. To me, I don't take it like this. A lot of this business, you know, you just you gotta let things slide and you know go with the flow. And if you're not happy, there's plenty of other brokerages. But you know, for me, I want the accountability. With you, you don't sugarcoat things. You let people know really, that. Amy. <laughs> Amy, so, she just I, said I live. She just that. said, like "Betsy Titterman doesn't, doesn't sugarcoat." Sugar <laughs> yeah, she's raw and real. She figured so that out pretty I, quick. <laughs> it, you know, I can read people right away, and I yeah, you know, you know really... and I think that Jen, but I think it's honest. Like I remember when you came to me, and you're like, "Okay, so like, when am I starting to get leads?" And it's like, just like Amy talked about looking at a brokerage's resume. I looked at your resume, and mm -hmm. I'm like lady you can have leads tomorrow i'm serious about what i said about you and the research and this that and another why are, are these these hazing periods with these people like if you're trying to fit in somewhere let people thrive and the other thing that i do too is like i get the office hours and i get all of that but like for me you guys are adults and I'm here to like guide and lead. I'm not here to be a babysitter. So I think that that's where a lot of teams go south and they run off top producers like both of you. Because really in reality, like Jen, you need a lead source, you need marketing, you can handle everything else that you're doing on your own, true or false. Oh, definitely true. Yeah. And I, you don't need me going, Jen, did you make a call at 830? Hey, Jen, did you call that lead yesterday? I mean, that creates serious anxiety for people, <laughs> man. You call them at ASAP. You want them right when they're looking. Yeah. And I also think what's awesome about you that I, I really haven't had a chance to tell you, and I'll tell you on air, is you're going to be a great mentor for other people. And what I love about the way LPT works is having those people on the team. And so my ecosystem as a team lead is kind of like, how do we all support each other you know we have the whatsapp group chat and it's crazy because i'm speaking on friday at the mastermind and i picked the hard topic i'm speaking about agent accountability and i'm gonna speak to all the agents out there and all the team leaders out there that like this is a business and just like we need to respect robert palmer's investment in us the free signs the free business cards the free radio time like it is free 99 we need to produce like we're not entitled to that so the way i run my team is I acknowledge the producers, which is refreshing for me to hear from you, Amy, that that's why you left the other team. So I don't care if Jen has been on my team for a week versus someone that's been on my team for three years. If Jen is calling her leads and producing, I'm going to reward her. Absolutely. That's True. how it should be. These people don't come to you. You have to go out there and fight for it and get, the, right. you know, and especially in this market, it's not, I mean, it's, it. It's getting tough and, you know, it weeds out a lot of the riffraff. <laughs> and I want to talk about the change too, right, in the market. So it's funny because the whole world has changed. Absolutely. I mean, we never thought people were going to wear masks. We never thought that the world was going to shut down. I mean, obviously we're all different ages sitting here, but it's like who in our lifetime thought that that's what we'd be dealing with. Now we're in this recession and it's a fact. You fight inflation with inflation. Like that's just the way it is. So Speaking of market changing, and then Jen, you hit on marketing. I want to hit on these two topics. Like, I think, Amy, when people are willing to make the change, it weeds out amateurs. There's a lot of realtors and there's a lot of like good agents, but when the market shifts, they have to shift in order to get the same results they did before. Right. You want to speak to people about that a little bit? I actually heard a statistic the other day that 800,000 agents did not sell a house in 2022 so far. Wow. That's a huge number. I know that when is that in Florida? Is that in the I can't. US? I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know okay. the answer to that. But I would think the U.S. But I don't know. But when real estate's doing really well, everybody wants to get on board and they make it. You know, it looks like it might be easy, and of course, houses are selling themselves, etc. So now with this shift. What, to what I say, the shift back to normal, because obviously what we did this whole year has not been normal. Yes, if we weed some of that stuff out, the market settles a little bit. Buyers realize that they can still, you know, afford a home even at the higher interest rate, et cetera, that we're going to, you know, see the, the market pick back up. And they're saying 2023 is going to be a huge year for us. So it's just a matter of maybe getting some of those agents out of the way. And those of us that are experienced and ultimately good at our jobs, get that business rolling again. I also think too, Jen, what's crazy is like home ownership is a need. Renting is a need. You have to have a place to live. So it's not your hair salon. You can't just cut out this aspect of your life. So during COVID, remember we were listed, what did they call us? The people that had to work essential workers. 
Like agents had to be essential workers. It's crazy. Nurses were essential workers and agents were essential workers. Like I kind of felt special. Yeah, I, I did a lot of virtual showings, but you we know, still did we, do our we, job. We did. We ran with the punches. However, it was you know mass, no mass, whatever. But we made it work. And now it's like what we need to do. Like Amy said, is we need to offer a product to people, even though interest rates are high. It's our job to still put those deals together and be the catalyst and the connector of the deal. So if it's finding a seller that's willing to do a buyer buy down to get their rates lower, whatever they want their payment to be, like we need to be the resource for that. So if anyone wants a resource. Source, Miss Jen, can you give them your contact information, please? My number is 813-610-2871. And Miss Amy Williams, give them those digits. 813-625-1800. I feel like when I have women on the show, I'm like advertising that you're just like free reign. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm like, hey, if you want to get, you know, a companion contact. So no companionship here. These ladies are all mine. But if you do want to contact them about buying, selling, making a career shift, just talking about maybe the real estate market or just entrepreneurship in general, they are phenomenal people to talk to you about like that life cycle and just what you're kind of going through in your life. We're just honored that LPT has allowed us to produce this content and give you guys the raw and real of real estate and life in general. We have lots more content to come. And my amazing producer, James, said so. So we're going to let everyone know that content coming up is something you don't want to miss. Download the iHeartRadio app. Save your favorite stations. And we will catch you after the break. Biggest win, I think, with the dual path and having these two models is that now we become a brokerage for everyone. No matter where you are in your real estate career, what your goals are today, maybe today you're not interested in recruiting or having a team, but then one day you wake up and you are. Well, if you're at the wrong brokerage to do that, you're locked in. Where in our model, we're not holding anyone hostage. We're not tying anyone in. You can move between the different comp plans and have that success and really achieve whatever your definition of success is under one brokerage platform being LPT. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tinnervin. Happy weekend, friends. We are so glad that you are listening to us. I've had some amazing calls off of this show, and I just want to thank all of those people. You know who you are if you're listening for just letting me know how great the content is, how it's helpful to you. We have some amazing things discussing in the studio today, just from business, personal growth, transitions and LPT brokerage. And I think that Amy and Jen have been raw and real in the fact that everybody says they have a culture. Everybody says that they have a family and that's just not really true. And I think Jen hit on the biggest thing, which was like the marketing. And Jen, you've been through different brokerages. So how is the marketing different with LPT? Like give them, give it to them like totally raw. LPT is built off of Robert Palmer. I mean, <laughs> what more can you say? I mean, Robert Palmer is, you know, he's built the mortgage industry to what it is here in this area. So in why a recession. It, yeah. And I mean, and so why wouldn't, why, you know, what's to say that he wouldn't be doing the same now with a real estate company? I mean, a brokerage like this. He like, did this twice. So he did a full fledged company that was like publicly traded during a recession mm -hmm. and then did it again with a real estate brokerage that's how during you know a recession. Who the real rock stars are, <laughs> you know, this is, that's. It's real. You want you want to be part of that. <laughs> and like who decides to come out of retirement right. when you're a billionaire and start over during the worst market <laughs> in the country, Amy? <laughs> I know. He like, did. Robert, he... if you're listening, we just want to know what mental <laughs> status you were in when you made that decision. <laughs> and then to deal with all of us crazies. Right. Because like realtors, like we're, we're a little wild. We are definitely wild. <laughs> oh, definitely. We're hard to tame, right? So it's funny because Robert Kiyosaki, who everyone knows is like so successful, and Amy and Jen, you know I use him in all my training content, said that if he lost everything, he would go back and work for McDonald's. And people are like, you'd work for McDonald's. And they're like, why? For like the 15 bucks an hour. And he said, no, because you have people working in an industry that really don't have a lot of education. Like most of the people working there are people trying to graduate high school or maybe they have a GED and they own the most real estate in the country. Wow. And so he said he would go back and learn 
their system so he could then build a new business if he lost everything because if they can take people that didn't graduate from harvard or you know stetson law and have them be successful in a company he would relearn that cycle and i think maybe he can fix their ice cream machines too it's, uh, seriously <laughs> but you know on weight watchers though if you get an ice cream comb because when i was on weight watchers after i had my son like years and years ago it's only like two points for one of their ice cream cones because it's really yogurt so don't be hating on me McDonald's ice cream. Man. Their, their machines are always broken. They, they are. Always they down. are always broken. If, we, if anyone out there owns a McDonald's, we need you to help us. We need those I need two points. Hot fudge Sunday. Absolutely not. The hot fudge Sunday is not two points though. Oh. On Weight Watchers, you only get the cone. Okay, so if you add hot fudge and you gain weight, don't call me. But yeah, so I think going back to that, the reason why I brought that up is just that basically Robert took the hardest time in the real estate industry to build this brokerage. And he has done in a year, not even a year, what it took EXP seven years to do. Right. So people can throw out these stats all over Facebook about EXP, 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 83,000 people. Yeah, but how did they get there and when did they get there? And Robert is on track in the hardest market for agents to sell real estate. And I was in shock when they gave the stats on Motivational Monday, I think it was like three weeks ago, that just had a stellar with like, I don't know, the thousand or agents we had, we had sold $100 million in real estate. Did you hear that, Amy? Yeah, Absolutely. So not only are we recruiting agents at a rapid pace, but we're recruiting the top producers. Right. Agents and you two sell. are testimonials mm -hmm. to that. Nope. Why do you think that is, Amy? I think that every tool is provided. There's nothing, I can't think of one single thing that I'm not getting from moving to LPT. You know, the marketing is there, every tool, the CRM is amazing. The support, being able to be in front of Robert Palmer on a regular basis, I mean, there's nothing missing. It's absolutely the complete package. And I think just for everyone listening that, you know, may not be interested in a brokerage or real estate, let's kind of twist the topic to like self-growth. You posted a quote from Robert's Motivational Monday on your Facebook page the other day, I think. I... Uh... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I, I, it was Amy or it was someone. I try to repost something every day, but it's. I yeah, don't but they, they basically quoted him because I was in Puerto Rico on Monday, so I missed Monday Motivation. I'm sorry, Robert. I was not a due diligence student. And they posted, Robert said, you always have a plan until you get punched in the mouth. Mike Tyson. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> yes. And so can you talk about that a little bit? Because I honestly missed it and I want to know like what it was about. What was he referencing and what was he talking about? I think that he was saying like. The gist of the talk on Monday was you cannot let people knock you down. You've got to continue to move forward. You can't take stuff personally. And as long as we're all doing well and su being successful, it's great. But as soon as you get a bad review or you get whatever from a client or, you know, something negative that it just by nature will definitely bring us down. And we have to figure out a way to quickly bounce back from that because, you know, this is a very fast moving career and you can't, you just can't let people get to you like that. And so just from both of you, now you're, you're live. This is like a real testimonial. When have you ever had your broker or a CEO of your brokerage in real estate or any other career get on Monday motivation and talk about personal growth like that? Never. Jen? Yeah, I mean, a lot of this business is mindset. You have to kind of just put on your blinders and go forward or where you want to be. There's a lot of noise and you got to weed out the noise and the rejection. You know, I mean, yeah, you for might sure. make some phone calls and you might get hung up on or people say they're not ready for a while or you've got to just keep weeding through it because eventually you're going to get you know, to where you need to be if you just keep moving forward and get, you know, have a positive mindset. And, you know, a lot of times when you're at different brokerages, like, you know, you just hear these are our number. This is bad. Da, da. Like you, you want to have the positivity. And that's what I've noticed so far here is that it's a lot more positivity and mindset. That's the root of everything, not just this business, but any business. Well, and last time I checked, are we paid by the hour? Uh, no. And so what, what people <laughs> fail to understand about agents, and I love this when people look at like net sheets and they're like, oh my God, that's what you made. Yeah. But I've analyzed 50 other deals I never got paid for. I've been to the closing table 15 times and I was talking to one of my agents and I'll give a shout out to my girl, Kathy Stoner. You know, she was fresh in the business and I was telling her, I said, Kathy, like I have literally worked on a deal for three months straight and had a $35,000 commission on the line. 
And two weeks before closing, we had COVID. The entire bank said, I mean, three months we worked on this deal. And they said, we're not funding it. We're you not funding. Count your paycheck. It was a <laughs> commercial building in an area that like catered to hospitality, like close to one of the beaches. So all of the tenants mm -hmm. basically worked in the hospitality industry and the lender felt that they would not be able to pay rent due to the pandemic and stop the whole deal. And I remember thinking to myself, because everything we do for everyone out there and do not leave us because we're going to give you content on what that's like to like work a sales position and have to plan because we have to be our own financial planner. If you have $35,000 coming in, you may not make money for two months. So you have to take that 35,000 divided by three. So now I've made $10,000 a month. So we have to live frugal. We have to be responsible. We have to budget. We have to do all these things because we can work super hard and make $0. Yes, you're right. And that creates anxiety <laughs> in itself. So when you don't have the positive mindset supporting you, Jen, mm -hmm. you don't have a team lead that's supporting you, like both of you have been in, it is like disruptive to you professionally and personally. Jen, if someone wants to connect with you on all your raw <laughs> and real and maybe get like a little juicy gossip about brokerages, how could they contact you? Call or text me. It's 813-610-610. 2871. And Amy Williams, give everyone those digits again. 813-625-1800. Do not leave us after the break because when we get back, we're going to talk to you about some serious content just involving sales. Whether you're a car salesman, whether you sell furniture, whether you're in title, insurance, we are all commission-based businesses. We're going to give you explicit content on just how we have, uh, the three of us have been successful and give you some golden nuggets and priceless information of how you can be successful in your own industry or potentially give you information that might attract you to our industry. We appreciate everybody listening. I say this every single day show. We have valid listeners that hit me up all the time and say, Betsy, thank you for what you gave me today. And that truly is positivity for us to keep going. Download the iHeartRadio app, pop in your earbuds, whether you're doing laundry or you're at work and you're supposed to be paying attention. We want you to spend 40 minutes with us so you can get the raw and the real of what's going on in Tampa Bay, real estate, personal and professional growth. We are going to pay some bills and we will catch you after the break. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, and this show has been fabulous with two amazing ladies, Jenna Sparza, Amy Williams. We are here with LPT Realty, bringing you the raw and real to Tampa Bay. We love bringing community members in. We don't just talk about real estate and the market. We talk about life. We talk about raw things happening, and we do talk about how fabulous our community is because Tampa Bay is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> like Tampa Bay is literally the hub of tech right now. We are the third largest metro market in the country. Florida real estate as a whole is appreciating at a insane 24.47%, which is highly over the national average. And we were doing that before we were a seller's market. Yes. So here in Tampa Bay, it's not just about selling you real estate. It's about providing you an affordable place to live where we have no income tax. And you can thrive in this community. We have massive job hubs coming here, producing work for people. We're going to dive deep into sales. So do you have a sales job? Are you a commission-based job? Do you have to really hustle? Like I have respect for people in the real estate industry because it's a hustle. It is a constant hustle. It is not an eight to five. You do not get to punch out, kids. You are not clocking out. You are not signing off. No one, no one cares that you're with your kids or your grandma's sick or what's going on. You, you don't are have a personal life. Yes. You, that's why we're all single. Like, you know, they talk about like divorce rates with cops. Somebody needs to talk about divorce rates and who is single in the real estate game. Because I'm telling you what, like a lot of successful, especially women in this industry. And ooh, let's get into that. Are like single because of the hustle. So let's Let's start, Amy, just with the hustle mentality. What do you have to say to the listeners in sales? How do you keep going? How do you budget your commission? Like dive deep into that. Okay. So I am self-motivated and because we are commission, if I don't work hard, I don't get paid. That's just the bottom line. 
I think that once I made this switch and it, you know, of course you don't get your first closing for a couple months or a few months because, you know, the whole process. But once I got that first check, it, it was very motivational. I'm not necessarily motivated by money, but you know, being you my, saw the hustle pay off. It, it worked, and you know, when I first started, there were agents that would say, "Oh, I'm not taking that you know hundred thousand dollar condo or whatever," and I would think, "Well, that's crazy because that hundred thousand dollar condo commission is more than you're making in a paycheck at a desk." So. You know, that was my mentality. I'm going to help everyone. I'm going to do what I can for whoever comes my way. I think that once you get that kind of rolling and, and that success, you are who you are. And for some people, that doesn't necessarily work. But for me, I'm self-motivated. I like to get those paychecks. I like to help the people. And and it's just been a great, great fit for me. I really wish I would have done it sooner. I always tell people that if I worked a corporate job, I would get fired day one. Because <laughs> I, like, don't follow rules at all. Right. Like, when they said, you get to host the radio show, I thought, you have no idea what you're in for. <laughs> It's going to get raw and real. <laughs> and then it was, you can do whatever you want. And I said, oh my God. So back to just what you talked about, you also have to believe in the process. And that, like Jen, comes with consistency and discipline. Because Amy mentioned, whether you're new in the industry or you make that brokerage change, you have that couple month trial and error period. So talk to anybody in sales, anybody in real estate, and just what you do, Jen, to say disciplined and consistent, even when you're not getting immediate results. It is about consistency. And even if I didn't have to wake up at a certain time that day, I still wake up and do the same things every day. I do I get on my CRM, start making phone calls, start doing email. Like I do the same thing. And, you know, eventually you will see the results. I'm not a part time agent. Amy and I are not part time agents. I don't give you a business card that has, you know, hairdresser, pet groomer. I am a You're realtor. You're not a pet groomer. <laughs> I am a realtor. That is all I do. I am I not a jack that. of all trades. I'm an expert at one. So. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> I'm stealing all Jen's quotes. She said we're chameleons. She said I'm not jack of all trades. I'm experts at one. Like, I just got goosebumps. Okay, keep going. <laughs> so I just, you know, a lot of it is just about consistency and eventually that does pay off i mean you can't wait for people to call you i mean there's a million other agents out there and if you aren't picking up the phone and reaching out to the people there's someone they'll click on another website and someone else will so you you know it's it's about just staying motivated however that is for you and everyone wants something for free with instant gratification that's just the world we live in right Everybody that we have to deal with, they want, they want, they want, they want. It's never give, give, give. And I know you guys even mentioned reviews. People rarely post good reviews, but they're the complaint portal, right? Like this is what's wrong. This is happening. And in our industry and for people out there in sales, you have to stick the course. You can't be a team hopper. You can't be inconsistent because you have to stay the course, but you also have to believe. And I don't care what people's spirituality is. You know, we try to keep, you know, that religion and politics off the radio, but if you don't believe in a process, and I've had to say this to agents on my team, they will literally say to me, I say, okay, you're not successful. And I say, did you do this, this, and this? I mean, you guys know I teach a whole course mm -hmm. and they go, well, I didn't do that because I did it my way. Well, I'm not a good fit for you. Because if you don't believe in my process, you can't even monitor success. And one thing that I'm going to talk about, and if anyone wants the Eventbrite link to virtually attend the mastermind that's going on this weekend, please contact Jen or Amy and you can be their virtual guest because Robert Palmer is opening up the mastermind to everyone. And on Friday, I am going to speak about being consistent and disciplined and sticking the course. Anything we do has to be 90 days. And then you have to track progress. Did I do what Jen said? Did I wake up every day and make the calls? Did I skip days? What time of day was I calling? Like, what are my KPIs looking like? What is my rate of return? And it's like funny in the world today, all this crazy stuff going on with crypto. Right. <laughs> and like, I feel bad for Tom Brady. Like we're in Tampa, like the man gets divorced and he loses $650 million. <laughs> like that is like bad luck, man. Like, bad holy sure. shnikes. <laughs> Like we thought we had a lot on the line. My $35,000 commission is looking like lightweight, man. But what's crazy about that process and what I honestly feel about it for the crypto people and what happened is you wanted to hit the easy button. You wanted something you could invest in and have this massive rate of return and just become a billionaire. You didn't put any work into that. Right. Like you didn't have to struggle and hustle. So you got like kind of what it is. 
and everything in life, you need to gauge risk versus rate of return, which is why real estate's a sexy asset. Absolutely. <laughs> real estate is a sexy asset. So I was arguing with someone the other day about crypto and I said, well, if I put 150 grand in real estate and I bought a house, the house isn't worth $20 tomorrow. <laughs> right? Thank goodness. Does that make sense, Amy? Yeah, absolutely. And so these people, they put in $5,000 and it's worth 50 grand, but then it's also could be worth zero. Right. I don't think an appraiser is going to appraise my $150,000 house. It may not appreciate rapidly, right. but it's not going to go to zero. Right. Talk a little bit about why real estate's just a consistent asset, Amy. My first home back bought in 1990, we paid 75000 We moved into a different house in the same neighborhood, and that house just appraised for quadruple that. So, yeah, it's been 30 years, but you know, it, over the long haul, it has been the best investment we've ever made. We have rentals and same thing. Of course, you have a renter and they're paying the mortgage. So that's always a good thing. Your bills are paid and you're getting the long-term increase. You can't go wrong with real estate. We did see the crash in 2008, but you know, the banks are hugely to blame for that. And, and I just, that's not going to happen this time. So the values of the homes is not going to go down. And Jen, if you want to give the listeners something final to process on their weekend just about why you have passion in selling real estate and why you think that real estate's amazing, leave them with some content. Well, I mean, I've been doing this for quite a while and I started out in property management and then started selling in new construction. And, you know, I'm born and raised in Tampa. I'm fourth generation. And for me, like I can drive by communities and drive by homes that I've sold around Tampa Bay. And it's just it's a really cool feeling to see the growth and to see like I've sold communities where it was just dirt and then it's now, it's built, crazy. now it's a whole community and it's triple the price of what I sold it for, you know? So it's, it's, it's very rewarding just to see that growth and see how much that, you know, I, I've contributed to that. Well, everyone out there listening, this has been a easy show. I feel like we didn't even have a show and it's already over because Amy and Jen are two very sophisticated realtors and people. If you want to contact Miss Jen Esparza, <laughs> she's going to give you her phone number right now. Call or text me. It's 813-610-610. 2871. And again, the infamous Amy Williams, <laughs> who sits back, but we all know that she's truly famous. You can find her on Google. Can you give them your phone number, Miss Amy? Yes, ma'am. 813 625 1800. And I just appreciate both of you, Amy. I'm so happy that you brought me Jen. She's a huge asset to my team. Mm -hmm. Jen, I'm super like just proud of you, like diving in. And I know you're going to help tons of people. Mm -hmm. I love that, Amy, you invest in real estate. Jen, you are a native of Florida. Anyone out there looking to connect about a brokerage, want to talk about sales skills or buy, sell, or invest in real estate, please contact Amy or Jen. We will see you next weekend, friends and family. We hope that we gave you some raw and real content, and we will catch you next week. Thanks for listening to the Raw and Real of Real Estate podcast, powered by LPT Realty, real estate reimagined. We hope this episode motivated and inspired you. And don't forget to rate and review us. Thanks again for listening to the Raw and Real of Real Estate podcast with Betsy Tenervin.